today I am playing Epic 7. Not Dom Diesel 7, or Brad Pitt 7, or even Slushy 711. It's Epic 7. So let's find out if this game is worthy of the epic part of its title. Epic 7 is available on Android and Apple devices. First up, gameplay. Epic 7 is a turn-based RPG with summoning capabilities. Take your party of four to demolish a series of nasty creatures. Use basic attacks, special looking specials, healing, and stat boosts. Then run to the next set of tentacle creatures, fight, level up, and run to a big bad boss. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about the story. You folks know I enjoy the occasional skipping of a long-winded story, yet here, I paid close attention, and for the most part it's decent. But oh, the temptation to skip. The the rest of the game is your basic free-to-play RPG mechanics. Level up, enhance gear, characters, and more. Then summon more heroes, manage a party, and fight. The different classes play well here, with mages, warriors, archers, and then some. All with unique skill sets and abilities. For a usual mobile RPG wait your turn attacker, it's fairly in depth. Then there's the auto battle, an aspect I'm beginning to ignore. These games just play better when you pay attention and choose your attacks. Speaking of attacks, oh my, no really, oh my. But I'll get into this during the graphics segment. As for the gameplay, it's nothing new. We've seen it once, twice, and a million times before. Yet that doesn't mean it's not engaging and at times fun, as enemies become fearsome health draining foes. I enjoyed the gameplay for what it offers, and forgive it for being the same tried and true formula. The reason I give this turn based battler a pass, well as you can see, it's the graphics. A beautiful mixture of awesome anime and blasting special effects. From the moment I laid eyes on this artistic masterpiece, I fell in love. The Chris Crystal clear anime story segments are great, the side scrolling characters move with an anime feel, and the vibrant backgrounds are pleasing. Just look at the realism here, it's so anime. Then we have the anime cutscenes that are wonderfully portrayed. Sure cutscenes in between chapters are welcome, but throwing in a cutscene with a special attack is downright amazing. With no lag between the start of an attack and the anime that follows, I was mesmerized by the quality that ensues. I am sure this approach has been done before, yet here it is so fluid, polished, and beautiful that it just adds to the overall gameplay. Rarely do I say graphics make a game better, but Epic 7 is an example of graphics turning a mediocre game into an absolutely fantastic game to play. It's badass anime eyeball pleasing nose bleeding goodness. I'm not over exaggerating, because I always over exaggerate. I mean come on, real anime interwoven into my gameplay? The graphics are epic times 7. Finally, free playability. I won't spend a lot of time here, mainly because I've spoken about this type of monetization enough to make you plug your ears. Basically, it's diamonds to summon with an energy meter and a whole assortment of purchasable goodies. Okay, goodies is the wrong word. Nevertheless, the in-app purchases are vast, to the point where I just didn't pay much attention to them. Yet I probably should, because I'm getting a sense a paywall is near. That doesn't mean one cannot enjoy the free, just understand it's a free-to-play JRPG. That basically says it all. Now that I've relished in the beauty and tap to attack. Is this game a download it, a give it a try, or a waste of space? Epic 7 takes a turn as a give it a try. Epic 6.5. The game may not live up to its epic title, yet it doesn't really need to. Sure, the gameplay is an above average take turn RPG, then there's the monetization that lingers like an old dirty rag soaking up your money. Yet there is no denying that the fantabulous anime graphics hold everything together. I found myself just enjoying the battles for the action that transpired on screen. The usual attacks became lavish anime fights, the mundane storytelling became eye-catching candy, and the experience as a whole became that much more engaging thanks to the overall appearance and presentation. So while this game may not be epic, it does just enough to hold my gaming attention. So if you want to live in an anime world with badass turn-based attacks, then give it a play. Or if choosing to attack while getting swords smashed in your face, all with the presentation of Crunchyroll streaming, then definitely give Epic 7 a play. As always, thanks for watching tiny little games please subscribe to support my channel like for more impressions and ring that notification bell for video updates fun fact i like anime and i like games there i said it <laughs>